Hello, and welcome to this introduction to pH. Uh, pH is basically a kind of a backwards way of looking at concentration, so the um, so bigger numbers kind of correspond to smaller numbers, but we'll see what that means in a moment. Okay, so hopefully we'll know what we mean by the pH scale, and we'll have a good idea of what pH actually measures, and then we'll have a look at some strong acid and strong base solutions, and then we can see if we can uh, actually go some way to predicting what their pHs will be. Okay, well here is the pH scale, which people often picture as being from 1 to 14, but it's probably a bit better if we think of it as going from 0 to 14, even though you can have numbers outside of this range too. Okay, um, low pHs, so that's pHs of less than 7, are considered to be acidic pHs. pHs higher than 7 tend to be considered alkaline or basic, okay, and in the middle we've got these neutral pHs. In actual fact, you don't have to have a pH of 7 to be neutral, but if you're year 11, in year 11, we won't worry about that. It's only in year 12 where you have to really cover that. Okay? So going from 0 to 14 with low numbers, um, like laboratory acids, 0 and 1, being, having, being very acidic, um, things like tomatoes being not quite as acidic as that, but also acidic with a pH of about 4. And then we've got things like oven cleaners, which have quite high pHs, um, or therefore are very basic. Okay, so moving on, what does the P of the pH mean? Notice there's a lowercase p and an uppercase h. Well, p means, in this case, minus log to the base 10. Okay, so pH is minus log to the base 10 of the H plus ion concentration. Okay, so H plus in square brackets means H plus ion concentration. Minus log to the base 10 of H+. Plus. Well, my calculator can figure that out for me, but just as a brief kind of explanation, if log of some number x is y, okay, so if I take the log of x and find that it's y, what that means is 10 to the power y will equal x if I'm doing it to the base 10. Okay? Don't really need to understand this maths in year 11. Okay, you kind of go into it in year 12, but your calculator will do it for you. So don't worry too much if this doesn't make immediate sense. What would be useful to know would be that if I've got an H plus ion concentration of one mole per litre, right, so if my H plus ion concentration over here is one mole per litre, then log of one is zero, and minus zero is zero, so the pH is equal to zero. If my H plus ion concentration is 0.1, then 10 to the minus 1 is 0.1, so the pH is minus minus 1, which is 1. And 0.01, okay, gives me a pH of 2. So notice that the higher the pH is, the less H plus ions there are in solution, or in other words, the lower the concentration of them is, okay? And although this is doubled here, okay, the concentration isn't half as small, it's 10 times smaller. So each number on the pH scale corresponds to a factor of 10 in the concentration. So I could carry on here um, and get some other numbers from my scale, okay? And in year 11, if you know the kind of whole number values for pH, that'll be great. You don't have to calculate accurate values for pH in year 11 from concentrations, okay? Point naught, naught, naught. 0, 0, 0, 0, 1 for the concentration of H plus would con correspond to a pH of 7 or what most people would consider neutral. Okay, but as I've said, that's not necessarily a useful way of thinking about it. In order, it is uh, saying that pH 7 is neutral because you can have neutral solutions that don't have a pH of 7. Okay, so really from an 11, year 11 perspective, um, know that if the pH is going up, the solution is getting less acidic or more basic, okay, and that the, it, basically the, the, the pH tells us something about the concentration of H plus ions. The bigger the pH is, the lower the concentration of H plus ions, and for every number on the scale, there's a factor of 10 change in the concentration of H plus. Okay, um, let's just have a quick look at some acidic solutions. Uh, let's say I had uh, one mole per litre HCl. Okay, I know that's a strong acid, so that's going to give me 
all of it is going to turn into H plus ions, so the concentration of H plus is equal to one mole per liter. Okay? So the pH will be zero. Okay? If I had 0 0.001 mole per liter nitric acid, it's also a strong acid. Okay? So I'll know I'll have exactly the same concentration of H plus ions, 0 0.001 moles per liter H plus. And so for the pH, well, that has to be 3. Okay? So in year 11, you ought to be able to look at the concentration for these kind of nice round numbers, in, in other words, just with ones in them, ones and zeros, okay? Or in other words, whole number value of pH, okay? And year 12 gets a little bit more complicated than that. Basic solutions. This is really now moving into just year 12 stuff, but for those of you who want to know in year 11, this is not something you have to be able to do in year 11. If I have one mole per litre NaOH, okay? then I've got a concentration of OH minus ions that is equal to one mole per litre, because this is strong, okay? And in actual fact, if my concentration of OH minus is one mole per litre, I'll have a pH of 14. If the concentration of OH minus was 10 times less than that, 0.1 moles per litre, then it would be 13, okay? And so on down to 7. All right, so it's a very similar thing, but in actual fact, this is a little bit beyond the scope of year 11, so I'm going to stop there with that stuff and leave that for the year 12s, okay? Now, neutral solutions, as I touched on earlier, they don't have to have a pH of 7, but they often will, okay? And to do that's to do with the temperature that solutions are at, and in year 12, you'll study that in a bit more depth. But the key thing about a neutral solution is not its pH, but that the concentration of H+, plus is exactly equal to the concentration of OH minus. So that is what we mean by a neutral solution. Okay? So in other words, if I dissolve an acid in water, I'm never going to get a neutral solution because I'm going to have more H plus. If I dissolve an alkali or a base in water, I'm never going to have a neutral solution because I'm going to have more OH minus than I've got of H plus. And I'll have a pH that is greater than 7. For acids, lower than 7. Okay? So really, that's the key points of pH for year 11, okay? You need to know that low pHs are acidic, high pHs are basic, pHs around 7 tend to be neutral solutions, and it would be good if you know what a difference, in one on the, a difference of 1 on the pH scale means. It's a tenfold change. So if the pH is rising by 1, there's a tenfold decrease in the H plus ion concentration, or a tenfold increase in the OH minus ion concentration. Okay? But keep it fairly simple for year 11, and remember to ask if you're having any difficulties.